Okay, guys, we've got the... Uh, everyone wanted him, okay? You know, the poll was 99.9% .9 Mitzi and 0.01% Shavesh. Uh, maybe Danger voted for himself? What do you think? Oh, uh, gotta love the boys. Gotta love Danger. Um, yep. He's uh, one of my biggest supporters. Love to that man. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm going to say, how do you get this big of a fan base that's so dedicated? They were spamming memes about you the entire night. Um, so, yeah, uh, I have a bit of a friend group at, um, the RMIT University. They're yep. such nice people. Um, I hope they're, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm gonna be a bit more, uh, uh, on point with this, but I'd like you all to behave in chat. Just make sure you're not doing anything too memey, but, um, yeah, I, I love the support from all of them. Um, it's a really close friend group we have and mm -hmm. within like all of the RMIT discord servers and stuff, sort of the, the stream gets thrown around and they, they just want to watch, um, both myself and Canon event. Yeah, um, play some play some Counter Strike. So, so what what do you do for Counter Event in particular? Because obviously you're a big part of it. Like, what sort of things do you do for it in particular? Like, you know, give me a whole uh, presentation of what Counter Event does. Oh boy. Okay. So my personal role within Counter Event, I like to sort of think of myself as the hype man. Yeah. I'm, uh, when I first joined, I um I wasn't initially within their five man roster. Um, there was mm -hmm. a bit of a bit of a troublesome sort of thing that was going around with the fifth person. I'm not going to get too into detail with that, but they sort of brought me in um, kind of last minute uh, yep. during our ECA open um, matches. So mm -hmm. I'm sort of slotting in, kind of figuring every, everything out. Um, and if there's like one sort of thing I know I'm good at, it's like hyping the boys up. So I'll be, I'll be in chat just, you know, saying funny memes for us, really sort of trying to get the boys a bit hyped. Um, so I, I personally think of myself as the hype man, but in game, um, I've, I've, I mean, I've, I slot into a lot of lurk roles, just whatever the boys need, because I came yeah. so late, sort of, they've already, um, fitted themselves and gotten comfortable into their spots and figured out where they are. Um, and I'm sort of just happily filling what needs to be done. Okay. So, um, yeah, so that basically, you just fill in, you basically the art man. I assume you manage the socials, I assume? Oh, uh, funny enough, that was Kraz, but, um, oh. when we were talking about, yeah, when we were talking about the Twitter, um, yeah. My name was sort of thrown in there as well. Uh, the the meme within our, our sort of Canon event Discord is that I like to glaze everyone up on Twitter. Yeah. Um, so if if you look at any other socials like with um, who was it Vantage and Rooster. Yeah. And um, uh, Icon when they'd like win their games against us, they'd like, yeah. you know post the result on Twitter, and I, I'd be in the uh, in the comments just sort of uh, you know glazing glazing the, the other team up saying GG I'm. I mean, like, I'm, I'm being honest about it. You know, yep. they, they play really well, and we're really grateful to not only play in ECL, um, mm -hmm. but also to be able to get teams like that to scrim us. Because, uh, like Kraz was saying in the interview before, yep. um, when we scrim teams, we, we really try and make an effort to gain as much as we can from it. Yeah, because I'm going to say ASAP, like I say, you get plotted from ASAP. I'm not sure, like, you know, if I interview other players in particular, when they first you guys, you get plotted from them as well. That you guys keep trying, despite the fact you guys are getting absolutely flattened. And I saw Rooster yeah, like yeah. literally flatten you guys over and over again. And it was just like, they, went, they waited one minute 30, they cut all noise. And you know, what do you think about that? You know, when teams like such as Rooster and probably BNK and FlyQuest give you bullets like that? Uh, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's like the best feeling in the world when you have these top dogs, these top players sort of compliment your play style. And yeah, definitely like, on a mechanics and a fundamental level, um, we're not quite up there with with them quite yet. Uh, but in terms of like team cohesion and team play, I think at mm -hmm. the moment that's been a really big priority for us. And to hear them compliment us on that regard has been so so nice. So nice to hear. Yeah. Well, so I reckon what you know with with open in particular stuff like that. Um, what sort of advice would you give to teams in open who are grinding at open can't get to that ACL spot? You guys got to in the end after defeating uh, Golf Club two. What sort of advice do you want to give to those teams that are trying to grind it out? Um, I'm going to echo Kraz a little bit here, but stick yep. together. Like, um, so many teams disband so quickly uh, before they sort of reach any like level of potential or level of like success. If you stick with the same like five players and really, really try to sort of iron out all your all of your problems, whether that becomes like uh, mechanics or just strats, if you like purely focus on that for like a long time you will be shocked at sort of the results um, you'll be seeing later down the line. But yeah, stick, I think stick together is my biggest one. 
that's what I'm going to say as well. Like, you know, what was the sort of feeling when you guys were up against uh, FlyQuest? I think you guys were up before 4-2 at one point ancient. How were the vibes then? Like, do you guys believe you could have won that? Oh, my days. Yeah, so uh, on the... Oh, when was it? After we won Pistol Round and then after we won the um, the conversion, so that would have been yep. round, round three, our comms were... We were lining up. And we, we might have been lining up a bit too much because we had to call attack after that. We're like, okay, boys, freeze, freeze, pause, pause. Um, so, yeah, it, it sort of kicked kicked in by the second round that hey like there is a universe somewhere out there where mm. we get more than two rounds <laughs> yeah yeah um also i've got to say overall like you know with our um, our my team in particular like, these guys just come into the channel every day like how much support do they give you they give you support in the chat clearly is there any other support as well in particular that they give yeah uh i'm not gonna uh so yeah specifically for rmit um like a lot of them are like my my close friends mm -hmm. um so they'll jump in the twitch chat um and they'll like really light us up on twitter um but it's it's yeah it's mostly just sort of um online stuff showing support in that way mm -hmm. i know that um that crisis uni also sort of pops in as well shout out yeah. to um unsw there's some really good uh good people there who show their support as well um yeah, so RMIT and UNSW are really like really vocal for us. Are, I think, in my opinion, our two biggest vocal mm -hmm. supporters. Um, and and my boy, and my boy Danger, love yeah. my boy Danger. I was gonna say, is any other you know known players from RMIT as well? Obviously, Danger is one of them. Shavesh, like the Clutch Master. Dude, I gotta say, talk about Danger yeah, particularly. Um... There you go. Sorry, you go. Um... I'll mention my story later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So there's um. Within specifically RMIT, I'll also mention this. So, um, Uni Esports was a really good pipeline for both Kraz and I to sort of start competing. That's where I um, kind of got my first yeah. like experience in some sort of like structured Counter Strike. Um, the people who have played for RMIT, if I can remember off my head, that would be Rothelco. Mm -hmm. um, 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 there's another name. Uh... Just say, just say Fog is okay, that counts, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, there's Silent and Hypno, which are um, two of my closest sort of pugging friends as well. Yep. Um, Psy, uh, uh, but I mean, they're, they're still competing right now. They're competing in... Um, uh, Mitsu, uh, Mitsu, uh, Mitsu, um... Mitsu, 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 I'm going to stop you there, okay? There's one yeah. really famous yeah. person, okay? Email player, plays for FlyQuest Red. Oh, Vivian! Yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah. In in um yeah she was she I actually played with her um she was my yeah. IGL for I can't remember what season of AEL was but oh my days she's one of yeah. the like most skilled um talented like individuals that I've ever had the like pleasure of playing with mm -hmm. and seeing her not only at DreamHack but also like playing mm -hmm. playing oh oh my days so really well in um Impact and in America mm -hmm. like, that's that's so impressive and um the RMIT esports president and myself sort of get every chance we get to um. Like just talk about her success because it's really, it's really, it's really awesome to see her up there. Yeah, so I was gonna say because there's been a lot of players. Cause I was looking at the leagues in particular. You know, I see Ruffle Co. I'm trying to think of the other players I see as well. I completely forgot. I know Shavesh plays as well. Oh, like uh, there's Ayo, a, I think there's another one. Yeah, he's the super to him. the super sub. So I called me just subs into every yeah, team. Yeah. He was in dance and like every time I see a sub that's come in, it's always him. Okay, literally always him. You know what I mean? The Harry Potter's like why? Why is it always you free? Hey, it's like, why is it always you as a sub? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, with Danger particularly, like, Danger, like, when he first joined Rooster and he just clutches these 1v2s, I'm just like, that man has veins of ice. He kind of remind me of Addict, actually. Well, what happened, like, I guess in these scenarios as well, in particular, Definitely. like, what goes through your head in, like, 1v2s and stuff like that, 1v3s? Like, is it more, like, focus or just let the man clutch? Or is it just everyone, like, be like, oh, you saw him here, or oh, you saw him there. There's a gun here or a gun there. Yeah, uh, so at least when it comes to when I'm in a sort of clutch situation, I definitely make it very clear to the boys to sort of communicate things that I might have missed. Um, uh, like, ju like, during that clutch situation on um, Ancient, I think it was, um, yeah. I didn't realize it was a 1v2 until I think it was Copper or Bo called out. I thought it was still like 2v2 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I definitely make it very clear to the boys that um, any info that uh, I might miss, please tell me. I think uh, out of all of the boys, nerves is probably one of my like weakest uh, things for playing Counter-Strike. Okay. 
And it's going to wrap this one up. So what do you want to say to the fans, and particularly the fans out there? It's your stage. Thank you so much for following us. <laughs> Thanks so much for like following us through this whole um, ECL journey. Uh, I hope that you know you continue watching through Open. Make sure to behave in Josh's chat. Josh is a fucking he's a he's a, a wicked host. Thank you so much for streaming our game, Josh. Um, and yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks again so much for following us. I hope you keep following us through uh, um, later ECL, later Open. We'll see what happens. We're gonna make it happen. Oh well, yeah, definitely. I, I say overall, you know, it could, could be me, could be Flan, could be any other caster, and they'll give you the same treatment. So you guys are putting like 110 percent effort in like a really, really rough circumstance because like being over 16, it's hard to look positive when you're just getting stomped in and out. I really appreciate that you guys are still kicking along. That's back. Always. Okay, see ya. Have a good one, man. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. See you later. Thanks, guys.